Hello everyone! Welcome back to another tutorial video. But this is our craft, and today's tutorial is how to get replay mod working. And I'm gonna do this as quick as possible. There's a little bit to know, but it's a two-step process and I've made it extremely easy for everyone involved. So, without further ado, let's start up. Whoa! Alright, so the first thing you're going to do once you get back to the main menu is quit the game because you can't install mods and use the, the game at the same time. So, first of all, we're going to go over to Replay Mod, the website. Same as always, just the download, not hard to find, you just click on this button right here. And none of these are going to work because they all require fabric. And the thing about uh, RL Craft is it uses Forge. Now you got all the options here, and we're going to want this one, 1.12.2, the latest version of RL Craft. I'm just going to click download. We are just going to throw this on our desktop, like so. So it's just there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Optifine. We are going to go to downloads up here right here just click on downloads show all versions now you're going to want to scroll down to 1.12.2 right here and download this version of optifine don't worry this is just an ad don't click anything here wait until this pops up right here the skip button then you can press download and it is right there quick and simple download just like that and we're also going to throw that right next to replay mod on our home screen next up we're going to go over here to our mod pack loader i'm not sure if you use curse forge or not but either way this will work because all you have to do is just open your game folder go over to mods and just throw these two right in there Now, I wish the process was as simple as that, but it's actually not. So I'm just gonna throw these over here for now. We're gonna open it up and I'll show you what I mean. All right, we are back inside of RL Craft. Let me just maximize this. Thing is, there is still no replay button here. So we're gonna load up our world and I'll show you exactly what's gonna happen. It says in the top right corner that it is recording and we can st pause or stop it and start it again. Issue is you can't really edit the recording from here. You have to do that at the main menu. But when you're back on the main menu, there's no button to press for replay. You can try finding it in options. See, it says it's saving your replay file and it's already done, basically. But this is the tricky bit because there's no setting for it. So how are you supposed to access and edit and Re render your replays. Well, that's what I spent this morning doing. gonna quit that again you're gonna go back to your folder it's probably already open so in the folder if you didn't close it just open it back up again go over to the main page click on this config file right here scroll down to where it says custom main menu and you have a JSON file here now, your computer probably won't have a program to run this, so what I recommend doing is, since I already have it installed, I can't do it again. So what you're going to do is go to Visual Studio. This is free. And you're going to click on this one, version 17.2, and on the Community 2022 version. And it's going to go right here through the setup and everything. Of course, I already have it installed, so we could theoretically already reinstall it, I guess. But yeah, so 
once you're on this screen, once you've gone through the setup wizard, I can't remember if there was one or not. I'm just going to click on launch. And don't worry about this. So just X out of this. You want to just make sure it's launched though. In your folder, you're going to click on this and it's not going to give you Visual Studio right away, or it could. It'll show you Microsoft Store and then open with other programs. If you're going to click down on that, it'll show you a couple more and there you will see Visual Studio. All right, so once you have it open, you're going to see a bunch of this. Now, don't worry. This is all code that you don't have to worry about because I already have it all set up. So quickly just select everything all the way down and delete it. We, we're done with that code. That one's bad. In the description, there is a link to a media file, which when you download it, it should look like all right, no, not that's the actual link, but it should look like this. You're gonna scroll over all of it again, select all. And this time you're gonna copy it. And when you're in here, just right click, paste. Now everything necessary is in here. Don't mess with this unless you want to have a headache like I did this morning. It's all fixed. I fixed all of this. And all you have to do is click this little blue icon right here. that says save. And once you have the green good to go, you can shut this file down. You can close that, close that, reopen your mod pack profile. And once that's reopened, you should see a little icon in the bottom right. And right here, I have implemented you, a replay viewer alongside a languages ad. So you can edit the language and you can see your replays. We have it here, the replay from earlier. Also, nicely enough, I also included this little button in the top right corner. It just resets the entire page. So if you want to go back to the beginning panoramic or whatever you want to use this for, just go ahead. If you even want to code in your own functions, it's right here for you. Now on the replay viewer, all you have to do is load it up. All you have to do now is set up your replay, to whatever you want. There's plenty of how to use replay tutorials on YouTube. We'll just start off by getting a portion that's good to render. So this is as simple as it gets. All you have to do now is press the little render button. But issue is again FFmpeg. You kind of need it to export. So all we're going to do is quickly go to FFmpeg.org download it you're going to download the one by gian dev and you're going to click on ffmpeg essentials dot zip all right and once that is downloaded don't worry about this this is just failed download you're gonna throw it on your desktop and then press extract all and the extracted version will go on your desktop too so inside the file, there is another file. Just pull this one out because this is the important one. You can recycle both of these. And now you're going to look for your this PC right here. Click on Windows C, Program Files, x86. And you may notice there's an FFmpeg file already here. It's because that's the one I use but we're going to delete this. Going to pull our new one in here. And just rename this to FFmpeg.
open this up, go to bin, and copy this by left clicking on this and pressing copy. Then we're gonna go back to our replay in this command prompt. I'm gonna paste it, do a backslash ffmpeg.exe, and that's basically it. That's all you have to do for replay mod in RL Craft or I guess any one that uses a custom menu. You can also use that. It's just this is specifically set up for all RL Craft. And if we open our video folder, it's right there. Pretty sick. So if you enjoyed this episode, or sorry, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe so I can put out more tutorials in the future. All right.